A major win tonight for anyone who, who supports same-sex marriage. The South Bend City Council passed a resolution against a ban on it in the state. WSBT's Rachel Lake was there for the vote tonight and joins us from the live desk. Rachel, a strong message tonight. A very strong message, Jen. City Council voted 6-2 to two in support of the resolution, asking the General Assembly to reject a constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriage. Indiana lawmakers are considering whether marriage should be defined as being between a man and a woman. Tonight, South Bend leaders are urging the General Assembly to say no to that amendment. A large crowd showed up at tonight's council meeting. Most of the people were there to support the resolution, including South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. They say it shows that South Bend welcomes people of all backgrounds and sexual orientation, regardless of what happens in Indianapolis. In the end, the majority of council agreed with those supporters, with only Councilman Derek Dieter and David Barner voting against it. I think a lot of people missed the point. The legislature isn't going to decide on this. They're going to decide to put this on the ballot, and that was my point. I think it's up to the citizens of Indiana to decide what they want to do in their state. I'm really excited. I think this is the right thing for South Bend to do. It sends the message that no matter what happens downstate, South Bend is an open and welcoming place. I'm disappointed that it wasn't unanimous. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg spoke at the meeting saying if same-sex marriage was banned in the state, it would represent a swift and embarrassing march backwards in our state. The proposed amendment would ban gay marriage and anything similar to gay marriage. Supporters and opponents disagree on whether the, pro the proposal would also bar benefits for same-sex couples. So, Rachel, now that this resolution has passed here, what happens next? South Bend's City Council will send it to the Indiana General Assembly. People could vote on the issue in November. Reporting from the Live Desk, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News.